I hope it's, is it recording? Yep. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Lady A. Um, I know it's been forever in a day. Okay, here I go again. This is why I don't like the webcam because it's like a personal mirror, which is a good thing. But in any event, um, oh gosh, hot mess. In any event, I know it's been forever in a day, and I know I was supposed to be doing a whole lot of inspiration. I don't like that piece looking like that. A whole bunch of um, like inspirational, you know, YouTubing. But you know what? I, I have been going through the motions, not in a negative way, but just with the whole health issue. Um, I don't know if you all know, but I'm dealing with a whole lot of health issues, and it all started in January. Well, actually, it started in 07 when I had that heart surgery. But aside from lupus, I was dealing with this year, I was dealing with um, the kidney disease, heart disease, lung disease, diabetes due to medication, the steroids, and then I'm getting cytoxine treatments for the lupus. Um, my last treatment was supposed to be two months ago, but they said they want to do one more. You know, hey, better safe than sorry. For real. But anyway, um, so my last treatment will be in January, the beginning of January. And I get it through an IV, so I'm there at the hospital in the oncology department, um, you know, getting treatment. So, so my face, I look like a chipmunk. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's so puffy, because um, of the medication and stuff. So I don't like I don't like the sick look, but you know I can't complain because God is good. I'm I'm breathing. Yeah, I'm on oxygen, but you know I'm breathing. I'm walking. There are days I can't walk, but nevertheless, you know someone always got it worst off. So that's what I'm dealing with. And um, a couple of people from my from Blogville, they're like, well, how come you haven't? You know, what's going on with YouTube? You know, and I'm thinking to myself, woe is me. You know, I'm not going to be YouTubing yet until I get better. But you know what? Then I started to think, now is the best time to, you know, do inspirational, you know, messages. Because, you know, what good is my testimony when I'm, you know, of course, anybody can talk when they feeling good and they doing good and they looking good. But what about, excuse me, but what about the days when... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a minute. I'm just like, hey, it is what it is. What you see is what you get. But what about the days where, you know, you're not feeling good, the family ain't acting right, you know, kids ain't, I mean, just, you know, all kind of trials and tribulations are going your way. Now is the time to really encourage. Um, all I can say is this year has been a really big eventful year for me because I was able to go to my 10-year um, reunion. Um, from college and I was able to reunite and hook up with lots of people who I haven't seen in a long time um, Then I went to my cousin's wedding. Oh my gosh. That was like the number one number one prayer on my list I wanted to go to his wedding um, Which was in Charlotte, North Carolina and I had a ball and then come to find out he surprised my husband and I um, he surprised us and um, Basically, we were the the guest of honor, so that was really cool. That was really cool. Um, what else? My husband, bless his heart, he's doing the best he can. Um, he's doing the best he can because he's getting tired of his occupation because students aren't acting right. But you know, hey, he got a job. Kids are doing great. I'm doing well. You know, one day at a time. 2010 for me oh my gosh I don't want to say it was hell but at the same time it was hell but you know I thank God for my mom because she really 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 helped me out she kind of like nurtured me not kinda she did nurture me back to health and um, I'm on a very strict eating regimen due to my kidneys um, all I can say is this too shall pass and I am believing in God for my complete total healing um, and the best is yet to come. You know, not just for me, but for all y'all. For those who believe, if you believe and doubt not. So that's where I am with all that. I'm forever on Facebook. So I'm not gonna tell you my my name on here. But if you happen to find if you happen to find me, then you know, yeah, you know, just let me know who you are from you know, YouTube and I'll definitely let you all know. So anyway, okay, so it's pretty much the end of the year. I don't know if let me try to it's pretty much the end of the year and I don't know 
who has what planned. All I can say is during this time, don't get discouraged. You know, make the best out of it. If you're married, wives, holla. <laughs> but if you're married, you know, do something fun and special with your spouse, with your loved one. Um, and then not necessarily buying a gift, but baking some, you know, some, I don't know, maybe he likes sugar cookies, chocolate chip cookies, or, you know, do something that he likes. You know, bake him something, um, put on something you know, va va boomish. It doesn't have to be all that big. Maybe your husband, he's the type he likes t shirts. He just likes the nice little simple t shirts and um, panties on. I don't know, whatever. It's just spruce it up for him and um, just, you know, just enjoy that quality time with him. Um, and also, if you got kids, you know, keep it simple with the gifts and the toys. I mean, hey, if you got it like that, then even if you do got it like that, you know, because it's not going to. Those things, it's like a, a quick thrill. The minute when you open it, you all happy, but the next 10, 15 minutes, it's like no big deal. So go easy on the toys um, or the gifts or whatever, the best you can. And if you got children like I do, definitely teach them, you know, the values of, um, of having things. Uh, make sure they have the heart of giving and you got to teach them. And the best way of teaching them is when you show them by your actions, you know. Um, this year, my husband and I, I think we're going to do like one gift a piece. Maybe, I think two gifts a piece for each child. And that's pretty much it. Um, because, you know, we don't really get caught up into the whole, you know, the huge Christmas. I mean, I'm not going to lie. My kids are still young. All of them are under the age of 13. So, I still want to have like a real big Christmas gifts galore. I still want to do that. And I'll be in the future. But for the most part, they know. My children know. Jesus is the reason for the season. And it's better to give than to receive. I mean, we really are still in our children. And we let them know. And they know that there are others that are less fortunate um, than they are. You know, so. So we just, you know, try to keep it simple. Try to keep it real around here. Um. What else? I think that's pretty much about it. Um, I really don't have much to say. It's been forever in the day. I've been meaning to get on YouTube. It's going on seven minutes. Yeah, I think I need to get off. But so that's what's been going on. On my face. Um, hopefully after treatment. Hopefully after they wean me off of the steroids and stuff like that, they will. Um, yeah, after they wean me off the steroids, then my little chipmunk face will be, you know, like down. But other than that, I just want to let everybody know you enjoy the season. Don't get stressed out. Um, don't go above and beyond. No, just relax. Continue to do what you've been doing. You know, and just enjoy this time to just be with your loved ones, your family members. And for those of you all who don't have family members or friends or loved ones, or you, or you, you know, you're not in, oops, you're not in good standing records with your family or even friends, I really believe now is the time to have some closure, um, to close that, that door of, um, you know, that non-communication. It's now time for a new beginning. It's time to look, even if that person was in the wrong or you feel like they did you wrong, now's the time like, look, I don't believe in burying the hatchet. I believe in getting rid of the hatchet, period, <laughs> you know, get rid of it. So just, you know, go to that person, let them, life is short, let them know that you love them. And even if you don't love them, okay, fine. Just be like, look, you know, let's keep the peace. Because the last thing you want to do is is uh, move on. God forbid they die, you die. You know, you don't ever want to have any regrets. So clear it up on your end. You know, put the put the big big boy or the big girl drawers on. You know? Oh, yeah, and then I was speaking to the wives. Let me speak to the husbands. Husbands, y'all, you know, do something nice. Give your wife a little extra something something that doesn't have to necessarily mean a gift but maybe um just a little more affection you know and just let her know and just reaffirm your love for her hey why not you know let her know that she's special um and just enjoy enjoy the family time i know i'm jumping all around it's like i got a whole lot of say and i've been on here in, in neons but um all right it's going on nine minutes that's too long I'm not going to do this over again. All right, but you all have a wonderful, merry, merry, merry Christmas. This is Lady A speaking to you. I'm sorry it took me forever in a day. If you, um, if you, uh, what is it called? You know, added me as a friend or whatever. I'm just now, you know, going through and approving it. So sorry it took so long, like months. 
But everyone have a great time. I will talk with you all later. Just know that um, the best is yet to come. Just believe. And I'll see you really soon. Alright. Merry Christmas. Bye.